Hey, this is a safe spot to get out and uh, do the repairs real quick. Oh, <laughs> well, I thought it was a safe spot. Get in. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get in, man. Get in. Please, get in. All right, guys. Welcome to another video. This is Dirt Gills. We're playing some more Subnautica. I... I gotta tell you what's kind of happened here. Uh, last video, you saw that my Cyclops ran out of energy. All the power cells drained. We had zero energy, and I couldn't get out of where I was. Um, so I went back to the base, and I made power cells to come back. And as you see, we got the Cyclops out of the lava zone. We're back here at the base. But something happened along the way. I, I was going to like bring it here, right? And start the video from here. But along the way, we got into some trouble. Had to fight off some creatures. We had some uh, some hull damage. Stuff like that, right? But I, And I got it to a point in the lava zone. I actually recorded and got it into the point in the lava zone where it was time to probably get out and do some exploring with the prawn suit. Uh, and I want to show you something. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but uh, my prawn suit does not exist. The prawn suit is nowhere to be found. So Rocco is nowhere to be found. I don't, I don't know. I know we have. To, we're in the sea moth right now. I have no idea what happened to my prawn suit. I don't know if it got destroyed in one of the creature attacks or what I, I I just I don't know I do have a theory though and I think this is probably what happened um, I did not want to get out uh, here I, I think this is probably what happened this is my theory and I'm kind of gonna stick with it um, when I came back with the power cells, I had to do all of that in the prawn suit, right? I had to go to the base in the prawn suit, come back in the prawn suit. Uh, but I couldn't dock the prawn suit because there was no power to the Cyclops. So I swam up to it, and I think I didn't redock the prawn suit. And by theory... If the prawn suit's still available, then it'll show up and, you know, I'll be able to go to it. But I can't. So I'm thinking it got it got destroyed by a creature or something. That's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I can think of. So what we're doing right now in the beginning of the video, and I'm not going to include any of this in the video. There's no reason for you to have to sit here and watch me make another prawn suit and all of the upgrades for it again. Um, but I am going to make a new prawn suit, make all the upgrades for it, and uh, then we'll go from there. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's happening. I know you guys, a lot of you want to see everything that happens, and to me, like, I like showing exploration, and I like showing progress, right, in the game. Me having to go back and redo stuff like that because of stupid mistakes I made, I don't want to include it, like... So I'm just going to cut it out, and I'm going to get to a point uh, where we can move forward and show progress in this game. So let me do that, and we will get back to it. Hey, since we're back at the base, and before I start building the prawn suit out again, stuff like that, there's a couple things I want to do here. No Man Star told me to go play with the cuttlefish. We're going to do that, but also... Where is it? Hold on. Also, when we were doing our thing in the prawn suit and making the power cells and traveling, I found a creature egg. And I don't know where it is. Or did I put it in here already? I did not. Oh, well. Oh, you know what? I know where the freaking creature egg was that I found. It was on the prawn suit inventory. And I, it is gone. So, uh, something else I did kind of do up here, though, real quick, is I did have a poster on the wall over here. I put a water locker up here. So I can go here and, like, put all these waters for when I need them, right? 
So I thought that was just a better use of the space. And then while we're here, we can drink these two and we can go eat and then we will start making the prawn suit. But first things first, let's go down and let's play with the cuttlefish. No Man's Star told me to pick up the cuttlefish and take it outside. Where's cuttlefish? There you are, cuttlefish. Let's go. You know, I'm going to take you to... Well, no, I'll leave the gas pod for now. I'm going to leave the gas pod. We're going to take the cuttlefish outside and see what happens. Do we leave the cuttlefish outside? or Why is it going to be dark? I wish it wasn't dark. All right, cuttlefish. You're the only one I've seen of you. Here we are. We're going to let you out. There you go. Oh, play with cuttlefish. There's an option to play with cuttlefish. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, Little belly scratches. Little belly scratches. Command to stop follow. Oh, so it'll follow me anywhere I go, huh? You know, just around the base, I'll let you follow me, cuttlefish, but... I don't want to take you with me on my journey, because what if you get eaten by a ghost leviathan? A ghost leviathan doesn't care how cute you are. Do it again. Oh, a treat? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I like it. I like it. Yo, what else can it do? Come on, come on. Anything else? Just little belly scratches. So it just does those two things. If we do it again, does it? Yeah, it just does those two things. Okay. Well, give it the treat. Don't keep it. Oh, you can do high five. So it just, it's random, right? It's just random what it does. Did high five. We do the treat trick. The belly rubs. Oh, cool. All right. Anything else? No, nope, we're going to do that again. Oh, it is a different one. At least you gave it to him this time. Oh, there's a different one. Cuttlefish is quick. Let's keep doing it. What else? What else is there? There's the high five. <laughs> All right, then. So do we leave cuttlefish outside? I guess so. It'll be by the base, I guess. You know? All right, cool. So, oh, we, we don't want him to always follow us, so we'll just do that. Wait, command to follow. Okay, so it's not following right now. All right, we can go do our own thing. Let's go in here and eat. That was cool. Thanks for telling me to do that. I appreciate it. But I am going to eat, and then uh, I have a prawn suit to make. And I have upgrades to make for the prawn suit, so it may take me a while. Uh, but it'll only be a second for you guys. Because <laughs> I'm going to edit it all out. So let me get to it. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is taking a while for me. To, to get this back and get the prawn suit back, get it fully upgraded. Uh, I didn't have all the materials at one base. I kept having to go to back to the Cyclops, back to the Lost River and back and farm for materials, all kind of stuff. But we have the prawn suit. It is now, it's actually, the prawn suit is actually in the Lost River with the Cyclops. So, and uh, we came back here to make one more uh, module. We made the engine efficiency module that we're gonna put on the prawn suit. Now, before I was telling you guys about a creature egg that I found, kind of a weird creature egg. Uh, it was kind of cool looking. And I went back to the area where I found it and uh, the, the very, the second scanner room I ever built, uh, it was around there. So I went back there to see if I could find it, and I did. I found it. It's right here. It, it, it kind of looks like the Aurora, doesn't it? It looks like a spaceship, but it's a creature egg. And I have no idea what kind of creature egg it is. Now, there are two predators in that area. I don't know if... Well, I guess, I guess you can hatch predators because we hatched a stalker and a sand shark. So there are two predators in that area where I found this. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. Um, the predators in that area are the crab squid, 
and uh, what's the the electric eel looking thing? I can't think of the name of it right now. Uh, those are the two predators in that area. So it would be really cool if we could hatch one of those and have them be our friend and just kind of hang out at the base, you know. That would be really cool. But I wanted to show you guys this egg and that I was going to drop it in here before we go back to the Lost River and before we go to the Cyclops. So, yeah. So we're going to do that now. I think I have everything. I'm just going to load up. I'm just going to load up like with inventory and load the sea moth with inventory and go, you know, because I don't think we're coming back here for a while. So let me just get all the stuff that I can. Uh, I don't need these waters because I generate waters, but I'll need all the tablets. Let me go through all this stuff and pick up what I need. Uh, things that I think I will need and uh, and we'll go. But I want to show you guys that egg. So that's it. So uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, here we go back to the the Lost River. And like I said, the uh, we'll have to introduce you. It is Rocco 2. So, uh, Rocco 2 is uh, now built and waiting for us. And we're going to dock it. In, it's docked in the moon pool right now. But we're going to dock it in the Cyclops. And we're going to head back to the Lava Zone and do some investigating. And see if we can find something that will steer us in the right direction on how to get that blue tablet. Still just super cool area of this game, man. Every time you come into it, it's like, it's almost like a different game. Like being up top, it's cool and it's pretty and everything. But once you get down here, it's like, it's a completely different game. It's pretty wild. Really want to get in that facility with a blue tablet because that alien figure said it wants to help us, which is wild. So it makes you wonder like, is this, alien figure have they been watching us they know we're here and they have the answers that we need on how to get off the planet i don't know i wonder if there's like a leader on this planet right like all these aliens and we really haven't seen any any actual aliens in the game we've only seen these creatures like creatures like this you know we've seen the creatures that come with this planet but no actual aliens that's like the only actual alien we've seen so i don't know if there is like a population of aliens and maybe like they have a leader maybe that alien's the leader all right here we are guys we're back at the cyclops so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna get off of here and i'm gonna situate all the inventory that i brought and I did uh, also while I was waiting on some things to happen. And while I was doing things, uh, look at this. Look, watch. Boom. It's organized. I kind of organized everything a little bit here. So quartz and glass. Yeah, I, I did my best to organize things here. It's still not perfect, but it's uh, it's better than it was for sure. But yeah, let me go through all of this and situate the inventory and then oh, we will head down all right we have an upgrade here we're going to put this engine efficiency module on right here now we are all upgraded have all the modules on the prawn suit this is Rocco 3 2 Rocco 2 sorry Rocco 2 and uh, Rocco is ready to go uh, hopefully we will not <laughs> lose uh, the prawn suit this time. However, we lost it before. Uh, I wasn't recording when I quote unquote lost it before. So I can't go back and see what actually happened. But I don't think I redocked the prawn suit. And I think uh, it more than likely got destroyed, you know. So, all right, guys, we are ready to go. So uh, we are fully charged at 100%. Oh, you need to turn all the way around. Fully charged at 100% and we're ready to go. Uh, probably not going to uh, re record or I'll put in the entire trip down to where I want to go. But I want to go to the area where I put that beacon 
where it falls off that cliff where you go down to that alien facility. I want to park right there, and I just want to investigate that whole area. I don't think I investigated that entire area very good. I want to see what's around there. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's about the depth that the thermal plant's supposed to be. So what I want to do is get in the prawn suit and just investigate that area. So let me get down there. And we'll see what we can find and what's in store for us. Yeah, we're just kind of at the bottom of the, the cavern right now, the lava, where the lava is. And it's 1,088 meters. So I'm guess I'm, I'm wanting to get to what that like the thermal zone is like 1200 meters so I'm just guessing I missed that you know I don't know where to go hold on it's kind of dark let's um let's use the sonar okay that's kind of a tight fit right there isn't it hold on All right, this way. That's what the sonar's for, right? <laughs> you guys probably got frustrated with me in the last episode when I wasn't using the sonar. When I was editing, uh, it just kind of clicked with me. I was like, oh, okay. That's what I'm supposed to use the sonar for. To help me navigate areas like this. Yeah, go ahead. Call me stupid if you want, but only if you're just kidding. You know, you can't be serious and do that. Oh, I didn't know the sonar worked. I thought you could only see the sonar from, like, inside, right? Yeah, we could probably turn this off now. All right, so that is where we dropped off the, the beacon. And so I just, I didn't explore this area very good, right? And that's kind of what I want to do. Like, what is all this? And, like, also, like, I just wonder if this goes to the other side. I wonder if there's anything, like, on the other side, right? What is that over there? Look at all those peaks over there. All right, we're going to go right above. Yeah, we're going to go right above this uh, skeleton here. These skeletal remains. Right here. We're going to go low enough to where we'll be charging the uh, Cyclops will be charging. Let me make sure. All right. Yeah, we're good here. Get a little bit lower. All right, that's good. That's good. All right. Now, this is what I wanted to do earlier. But we had no Cyclops. I mean, we had no prawn suit. Now we ready, bro. I'm going to try to show as much of the exploration as I can. But I know a lot of this is just going to be like me finding nothing. You know, I'm hoping to explore until I find something. Oh, Warper. Got me. Got me. I don't know where my prawn suit is. Oh, it's up there. Nope, not storage, bro. Get in. Oh, my gosh. Oh. This, these whole mountains right here are kind of cool. Warper, stay away. 
No, he got me again. Where am I? Nope. Get away. Get away. All right. Oh my gosh, bro. Stop. <laughs> Damn you, man. All right, we're going to go. We're going to turn around and go this way. God, they're all over the place over here. I want to get at a good point where I can just kind of like look down and like scale like where I'm at. Like I want to stand like right here. Or like, yeah, like. How about let's go up here? Can we go on this peak? All right. Oh God, he won't stand up. He won't. All right, there we are. Nope, won't do it. Okay. I tried. All right, we're 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 actually twelve hundred meters, right? Twelve hundred meters is up up here we go further up here 1200 meters are you kidding me yo yes yes please tell me something's in here please tell me something's in here You can't get me. <laughs> Guys, I've been, uh, I've cut quite a bit of this out, actually. Um, oh, no, no, stop. Go away. Go away. All right, what's in here? Hold on. This was a good idea. This was a great idea. What is in here? What are these things? All right, we're going to be able to scan these probably. The volcanic rock which has formed in this area. Creature egg. Hell yeah, I'm picking that up. And 3000 earth years ago. Welcome aboard, captain. All right, I missed what was said right there. Hold on. The volcanic rock, which has formed in this area, can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3,000 Earth years ago. All right. Wonder what kind of creature that's going to be. Kyanite, more kyanite. I don't know if I'll need more kyanite. I mean, it's all over the place if I do. I can just go drill it real quick. We're just walking down. Oh. This has got to be the thermal plant. I don't know if I can get directly in the lava. I don't want to. I don't want to test it. I know we built the the modules with kyanite so that it would be stronger to withhold stuff like this. But go away! All right, we need to find the entrance though, because if if we do, all right. Here, let me let me save just in case. Because if I do fall in the lava and, and and die, I'm definitely reloading the save. Get out of my face, bro. We're at 59%. All right, let's see. Where's the entrance? The entrance is not going to be at the top, that's for sure. Hey, this is a safe spot to get out and... Uh, the repairs real quick 
Oh, well, I thought it was a safe spot. Get in. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Get in, man. Get in. Please, get in. Oh, oh, my God. Stupid warper, man. Stick to warping. Don't slash me again. Got it up to 75%. That's okay. All right, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where's the entrance to this joint? I hope there's an entrance to this thing. I hope this isn't just like one of those that's like It serves no purpose, really. Come on now. Uh, yeah, I can see right there. There's the entrance right there. <gasps> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right here, right here. Recharge the jetpack. The entrance is right there. All right. Hot damn. All right. Oh, I didn't know you would just sit down like that. Creature, hey, we got water. We would generate water. We don't have any food. Maybe I could go outside and like swim around, get some food real quick. Holy hell. All right. Yeah, that's good. That should be all right. And if we need to do that again, we can come out here and do that again. Oh no, what are you? No, no. You're, you're mechanical. You're a mechanical crabby. You get away. I don't want you. Oh my God. All right, purple tablet. Let's go. I see it. I see it. That's a blue tablet. That's a blue tablet. Uh, let's scan it. Let's read it. Smooth and cold with a blue light which illuminates an alien symbol resembling an uppercase H. While it is likely these devices served in part as security clearance for whoever constructed them, their size suggests some additional purpose, such as personal computers. Whatever the case, the technology is far beyond humanity's own. Okay. Uh, now let's take it before we forget to do that. All right. Um, got an idea. I think we're going to have some scanning to do in here, hopefully. Come here to me. Where are you? Come here to me. Where are you? Are you in here? Special equipment is required to collect this resource. So we can come here and just get a bunch of ion cubes? Okay. Bring the prawn suit in here and do that. I wanted to. Let's go down here. So I'm hoping to find also the blueprint for... If we go down here... The nuclear reactor. I'm hoping the blueprints for those are in here. All right, ion cube. Another purple tablet. Glad I brought two. All right, so that's down. Let's get this information. Fossil data. 
Fossil data recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct the alien power facility. It has been possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far on 4546B. Extinction events. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction, uh, extinction event killing off a majority of the species and forcing rapid adaptation among many of the survivors. All right. So this looks a little crazy in here. No, let's just go. I'm guessing we're going to have to turn this stuff off somehow. We're not going to be able to get in here, are we? All right. Alien thermal plant. Uh, this system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric current at 90% efficiency. Most of this energy is being stored in the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which holds enough to power a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably, as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, un uninterruptible. Okay. Primary containment facility. New PDA data. So this is the primary. primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. That's it. That's the first place we went to. A power router in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on site to other facilities on the planet. Primary containment facility location updated. Constructed within a natural chasm, connected to this cave network, south southeast, area of volcanic activity depth. Okay, we know all that. Self warping quarantine enforcement units, 5%. Okay, this is telling where all the power is going. Arch network, sanctuaries, quarantine enforcement platform, disease research facility is offline. Have we been to the disease research facility, though? I feel like the disease research facility is where we'll find the cure for whatever's going on with us. Primary containment facility, 20%. Reserve, 20%. There's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. Well, uh, but from the sounds of that, it's saying there's no clear way to interrupt the power flow. Let's me know. One of our goals is going to be interrupting the power flow. <laughs> okay, here's another terminal. Oh, this is for the orange tablet. Maybe. Integrating new PDA ion data. power data. Synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Okay. It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge ionic energy contained within. By installing an ion cube in the appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which leverage advanced ionic energy to last considerably longer. So it said it gave us a blueprint of something. Let's go check out the new blueprint. Uh, ion battery. Okay. Battery infused with alien ion technology. And we got an ion power cell. 
power cell infused with Aeon, a alien ion technology. Is there anything else? There we go. Blue tablet. We already, yeah. We can make these too. You know, it. we might as well, um, we're going to get the, we're going to get the prawn suit and get and break up that big ion the de uh, deposit it's there for a reason right so we're gonna get it uh, we'll get it when we leave though because it's right by the entrance so we'll do that when we leave there's still some more exploring to do up here yeah right there it's close let's go up here let's see what's up here You know what? I wonder if I can scan that little guy. Do I have my stasis rifle? Just in case he's dangerous. Where's that little... robot thing? There it is. Doesn't seem to be attacking me. This device is of alien origin. Although its design is relatively simple, its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to de deter invade. Okay, so it's like a repair thing. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls, and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are a few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable ion-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Immobilize and return to Altira for mutual profit. Immo what? Immobilize it? Okay. I'm supposed to take it? Well, I killed it. It said mo immobilize and return. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe I did that wrong. All right. Let's keep. Let's keep on keeping on. As Joe Dierte would say. Oh, there's another one. Come here, come here. I can't pick you up, so I can't immobilize and return it. All right, what's up here? We haven't used the orange tablet yet. Is this where we're going to use the orange tablet? This is just like an exit, right? Yeah. All right. Just another exit. Let's go this way. To this room. Ion cube. All right, so that just creates another portal. Anything in here scannable? Where does it take us though? Hello. Okay, here we are. Is this... Okay, this is the first... Yeah, okay, this is... This is where we... Have to turn off the gun. This is the building with the gun. That's where it takes us. Alright, cool. So it makes it easy to travel when it's time to go back there. Because to get off the planet, we're going to have to disable that gun. Alright. So that's cool. Alright. I don't think anything's scannable in here. So no, no blueprints for... The thermal... Uh, what, what was it?
Nuclear reactor. No, no blueprints for the nuclear reactor. I think we've uh, done everything in here. This place was a lot like bigger than we went in there. We went up there. We went in there. We went down there. Last thing to do is get this uh, break up this ion block. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Let's do it. This is the first ion block that I've seen, though. We got eight ion cubes. That's cool. All right, let's go out. Don't know if there's anywhere else to go in here or not. We did get the blue tablet, which is one of the was actually my goal for this video is to find the blue tablet. And we had to do some exploring, but we found it. So that's cool. I hear Sea Dragon. Sea Dragon is close somewhere. All right, um, I got to figure out how to get out of here. Is it that way? Yeah, I think so. It was back this way. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring. I'm gonna like walk, walk around up here. I don't think there's anything back here. Seems to just be like a wall back here. There's a slight opening back here. Right there, yeah. Well, let's see what's in there. Hey, while I'm in here, let's uh, let's do the repair thing. Let's get us fully repaired. All right. Where did I come in? Now I'm backwards again. I came in oh my gosh it's like Swiss cheese in here now I don't even know I don't know <laughs> where I came from we'll figure it out there are more creature eggs are those the ones that I got yeah Look at this gross thing. Go away. I 
guess this is the way out. Oh, I was going the way out the whole time. I thought I was going somewhere new. I was actually going the way out. All right, you know what I could do? I don't really even have to take the... I don't even have to take the entire... I don't have to take the freaking Cyclops down. I can leave the Cyclops right there. We're going to eat first, though. I'm going to... Kind of, I'm not going to dock this thing because it doesn't need to. But uh, I am going to get out and uh, let's let's go ahead and we had some inventory in here. So let's go ahead and get that. Got some ion cubes. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Let's go to one of these. And we got our, all our ion cubes in here. So let's put them all in here. That's a cool creature egg we're going to put out of our inventory. I don't have any more purple tablets. So I'm pretty sure I can craft some. Because if we go into this next facility, I know for a fact I have to use a blue tablet. Um, we have not use this orange tablet yet so I may have to use it but I have no more purple tablets so I may have to use that as well let me see what it takes to make a purple tablet real quick I may just make two if I can Yeah, ion cube. So we need two ion cubes and two diamonds. So we'll do that. We'll just do ion cube. We need four diamonds. And I think diamonds are right here. One, two, three, four. All right, purple tablet, purple tablet. Now what is this? And that now this is the ion batteries. I'm I'm gonna guess that these, the pa ion power cell, in the ion battery. I'm gonna guess they're gonna have something to do with either. The nuclear reactor or the rocket if I had a guess I don't know we don't need to make those yet all right let's get in the prawn suit and let's go to this next facility I wonder if I can get out though I mean I have the grappling hook and the and the booster so I'm gonna say yes I can get out hopefully Where is the... There it is, that way. It's this way. Let's go. Oh my god. The warper. Stay over there, warper. No, 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 I hear you. I hear you loading up. Oh, it tried. It tried. I'm so excited about going in here. So that plant that we were just in is facilitating power for all of the facilities through these things. That's what I gather through that. Those cables are running the power from that facility. No 
sign of the sea dragon. Every time I say that, of course, he shows up. I hear it now. I hear him now. I said it. And yeah, I hear him. All right. Here we are. Blue tablet. Oh, God. What's going to be in here? Come on. All right, guys. We're going to stop this recording right here because I do go into this facility and the recording just gets way too long. Uh, I just did not want to stop playing and I didn't know what a good stopping point would be. So I just kept playing, kept playing. So we're going to stop right here. Leave you guys with a cliffhanger because uh, it gets really good after this. I'm really enjoying this game. So next episode, we'll start off with me going into this facility and exploring this facility. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to find. So uh, you'll be pleased to see my reaction to that. So looking forward to that in the next one. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the watch time, all the comments, the likes. And if you're a new viewer, I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.